Today we're going to take a look how to make this fully editable pixelated text effect here in Illustrator inspired from the legendary Nobu graphics. Okay, so let's select the type tool and I'm going to go with the Akira Expanded Super Bolt typeface. From here we're going to go to the Pathfinder. If you don't have it, you can go to Windows and go down and select the Pathfinder here. And let's go here to the little burger, click on it and let's select Make Compound Shape. Now let's go to the Appearance. If you don't have it, you can go to Windows and select Appearance. And here we're going to click on the Fill and let's add another fill. And the first one is going to be a magenta and the second is going to be a blue. And I'm going to select the blue. Let's go to the Effects, click on Path and select Offset Path. I'm going to increase it to 10 pixels and change the joints to Around, click OK. Let's go back to Effects, Distort and Transform, select Transform. And I'm going to increase the horizontal and vertical 2 by 2 Increase the copies, this way we're going to create some nice extrusion effect. Click OK. Now let's go ahead and click on the purple fill. Let's add another fill. This one is going to be white. Let's go to the effects. This sort of time transform, select transform. And we're going to push the horizontal and vertical 4 by 4 And we're going to add another copy. Click OK. So now let's select the white fill where we apply the transform. Let's go to the effects, pathfinder and click on minus back. And let's bring the minus back here under the transform. And check this out, it basically cut out the two copies that we created with the distort and transform. Now this is only possible if you go to Pathfinder and activate the make compound shape. Now let's go and create another fill and I'm gonna bring this fill all the way down here and change up the color. I'm gonna go with some orange and select it, go to effects. Let's go all the way up to convert a shape, select rectangle, and I'm going to increase the width and the height like that. Click OK. And as you can see, the rectangle is kind of off because the extrusion that we created here. So the space is lower here and the space here at the top is higher. So we're going to go to the effects, distort and transform, transform, and we're going to place it correctly as possible. Click OK. Now it looks something like that. Now let's select it and now click on the top to compound shape here. Let's go to the effects, go to rasterize and here you're going to need to change up the resolution to other and bring it down. I'm going to go with 10 for example. Make sure you're on RGB, click OK and check that out. Now you also can change up the pixels to lower it. So let's go all the way down to rasterize and I'm going to increase the PPI number. For example, 17, click OK, and it's going to make the pixels smaller. And that's how you make this really cool pixelated text effect inspired from Nobu Graphics. Thanks for watching.